Hi, in this video, we look at how to create an animate visual effect with the new Mesh Gradient in SwiftUI. A Mesh Gradient in SwiftUI provides you with a lot of possibilities. You can use it to create stunning visual effects for background and button animations, for example. With the technique you learn in this tutorial, you can create any of these beautiful Mesh Gradients from MeshGradient.com. These are all CSS gradients. I will show you an easy way to create any of these gradient types here inside SwiftUI. You can find the source code on GitHub by going to gist.github.com slash You can see here I have it as meshgradientoverview.swift. I encourage you to copy the code into Xcode and try it yourself. Make sure you have Xcode 16 beta. As you can see from the Apple documentation, the mesh gradient view in SwiftUI is in beta. So we have iOS 18 beta, iPadOS 18 beta, and the rest. So let's jump back to Xcode and start creating the mesh gradient. I already have this project as a starter template. So you can see we have all these views. I believe what I'm going to show you here is the easiest way to create a mesh gradient in SwiftUI. We are going to use a 3x3 grid to create a mesh gradient. You can use the same technique you learned in this tutorial to create a 4x4 or 5x5 mesh gradient. To add a mesh gradient to the SwiftUI project, we need to define a two-dimensional gradient having a 2D grid of positioned colors. Looking at the device preview, you can see I have defined all these points with the associated colors. The easiest way to understand and create a mesh gradient in SwiftUI is to use the iOS coordinate system. If you want to add a mesh gradient to a Mac app, you should use the Mac coordinate system instead of iOS. So for iOS, we start from the top left. On the top left, we have the coordinate as 0, 0. As you can see from the preview, we are going to use a 3x3 grid. You can use the same technique here for a 4x4 grid or 5x5 grid with 25 colors. So above the V stack you see here, let's add our mesh gradient. We get an arrow here because we need to specify some parameters. To create a mesh gradient, we need a size which can be defined using width and height. So let's add the width parameter. We are going to use a width of 3 and height. The height will also be 3. So this parameter is the width of the mesh, that is the number of vertices per row. And the second parameter is the height of the mesh, which is the number of vertices per column. Next, we should define an array of points or we can use location for that. So this parameter consists of an array of points and control points containing width and height. As seen in the device preview, we have a 3x3 grid. So let's specify our first point to use the top left of the screen. That is the point 00. zero. We're going to add an array here and put 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.0. Then we can copy this point and paste it here then we paste another one so our second point is the top center that is 0 0.500 0, 0 purple we will define the color later so let's use 0 0.5 here and leave this point as 0, 0 that is the top center next we have the top right from the top left to the top right is 1.0 so i'll change this to 1.0 and leave this point as 0, 0.0 so let's copy everything here and use it for the values at the center and also the values at the bottom. Now we can change everything. So this array you see here represent this point 0, 0, 0 0.5 orange. So let's change this to 0 0.5. Then we go to the center center which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and center right which is 1.0, 0, 0 0.5. We can now go to the bottom part which is 0, 0, 1.0 and the bottom center which is 0 0.5, 1.0. As we move from the left to the center, we have 0 0.5 and 1.0 is moving from the top center to the bottom center. So let's change this one to one. The last point is the bottom right. That is 1.0, 1.0. So I'll change this to one. So let's make sure we have the correct values. On the top left, we have 0, 0. Then top center, 0 0.5, 0. Next, we have 1.0. 0, 0. Then we have the left center, which is 0, 0, 0, 0.5. Center center of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Center right, 1.0, 0, 0 0.5. And bottom left, which is 0, 0, 1.0. Then the bottom center, 0 0.5, 1.0. And lastly, 
we have 1.0 1.0 as the bottom right so we now have the size of the mesh which is defined using the width and height we also have the point values containing an array of points and control points lastly we have to define the colors we want to use for the mesh like the points parameter we have to use an array of colors let's use the same colors we have defined on the device preview so on the top left we have red so let's put here dot red at the top center we have purple then at the top right we have indigo next we move to the central part so let's put a comma here at the center left we have orange then at the center center we have white at the center right we have a blue color let's use the new code completion in xcode by pressing tab we now have this nice gradient lastly we will move to the bottom part we have the bottom left to be yellow then the bottom center is green lastly the bottom right is mint as you can see here by following this simple guide we have created a beautiful mesh gradient here inside swift ui so all these parameters we defined here are all animatable so we can animate the width height points and colors in order to create a stunning visual effect for backgrounds and buttons or any other view you want to use in your app in our example we are going to create a background animation by moving the points at the center you can see here i have already defined this state variable it's animating so when the mesh gradient view appears we are going to add our animation using the on appear modifier to add the animation we are going to use with animation and specify the ease in as ease in out and set the duration of this animation to five seconds then we will repeat the animation forever and set the auto reverses parameter to true next we will bring the animation variable and toggle its state we can now use our state variable to change any of the colors or the points over time as i said before we are going to change only one of the points at the center but you can experiment with any of the points depending on the animation you want to create so let's paste our state variable here and bring a question mark we're going to use a ternary conditional operation to create our animation so the first value is the true value we will use 0.1 and when the condition is false we will use 0.9 you can experiment with different values here as well you can now see the white color is moving from the right to left continuously there are also other parameters we can specify for the mesh if we want to make the color transition very smooth we can add the smooth colors parameter so let's bring a comma here and add smooth colors it is boolean so we set it to true the difference is subtle next we can also define the color space we want to use for the mesh we have two options device and perceptual so i encourage you to experiment with any of these parameters and see how they work so we now have our beautiful gradient what we can do is to remove this v stack because we don't need the points anymore so i'm going to select everything and delete it then we have only the gradient background let's also remove the pattern and add ignore safe area we now have our beautiful gradient in a full screen mode i believe this is the easiest way to add mesh gradients in swift ui and also animate the points or colors to create stunning visual effects i showed you how to use the ios coordinate system as a guide in a later video i'll show you how to create a 4x4 mesh gradient and also a 5x5 mesh gradient thanks for watching this video